Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Model Car Guy Rich here. Today I've got a special unboxing of a uh, Ertl Blue Printer kit, the Monkey Mobile. Let's go ahead and open this one up, see what we got inside. I can't even imagine how long it's been since I've even seen the inside of this kit. <clears throat> I bought this kit many years ago. all there was in the box. The box came with a shipping address or shipping label and then not a whole lot else on there. 1989 this kid is from guys. I wondered. So alright let's get right into it. We have a sealed bag. We have one chrome Sealed. One bag with tires and it looks like the uh, tail light lenses and two steel axles. Tires look nice, very nice tread on them. I uh, can't make out the brand name. <clears throat> Let me see if I can look it up real quick. They're good years. They are good years. Uh, raised letter, but uh, black walls on both both sides. I'm going to go ahead and leave them in the bag the way they are. Here with the instructions is the windshield. Oh, and the instructions are open. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I don't want to lose that windshield. We'll leave it in there. Go ahead and look at the instructions here. This is stock number 6058. Printed in the United States. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. And the monkeys lived. I'm sorry, the monkeys liked to travel together. Kind of like the four mon monkey tears. Uh -huh. To coin a phrase. And not wanting to drive in some ordinary wimp mobile. Or just your everyday muscle car. They opted for a full tilt radical custom of a car of cars. A 1967 GTO. This stylish wonder features a full Phaeton style stretched out interior with a stem to stern canvas top or full cover shade, a radical GTO monster motor mill complete with a custom huffer and four exhaust trumpets per side. That's them right there. You can see them in the picture. Neatly exiting out behind the custom front wheels and tires, playing out in quad stereo, the tune this monster motor makes. And speaking of tunes, the monkey's the monkey name is an Im bleh, bleh. let me try that again. And speaking of tunes, the monkey name is emblazoned along both sides of the car from the decals I'm imagining, which oh yep, here they are here. That's all it is, just the monkeys. Kind of a guitar shape. That's pretty cool. Uh, along both sides of the car. So you have no doubt who is in the radical red beast. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. 1989 Columbia Pictures Industries. Wow. That was pretty cool. To watch the monkeys on TV all the time, so it was pretty funny. Years later, a show called uh, Big Time Rush came out, and my daughter, the youngest daughter, was really into that show. And as I'm watching it one day, I thought, geez, this is just like the monkeys of my, of my era when I was growing up. And sure enough, I guess the uh, Big Time Rush show was, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? It, it was, um, Oh my goodness, I can't think of the word. Where it was based off of the monkeys. It was the the monkeys were the the inspiring whatever for Big Time Rush. Okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> the inspiration. That's the word I was looking for. Here we go. Here's your tires and wheels. Then over to the uh, pretty basic interior. 
can't really see real good. I'm, I'll pick the camera up, guys. It'll be easier this way. Here's step, step two, three. The battery's going to die in a second here on the camera. I'm going to try and get this whole uh, instructions in. And then I'll pick up where wherever we get knocked off. There you go. Pretty simple. Pretty simple build. Right, I'm going to take a break real quick, guys, and uh, change the battery up, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, back. I'm going to go ahead and, because it's right here on top, I'm going to cut open the uh, chrome pieces. Chrome tree, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, it's a pretty basic kit. Not a whole lot of parts. Let's see what we have. Look like some nice uh, vintage Krager style wheels. I guess you can see them real good. And these are the wheel backings. Fronts and rears. I'm not sure. Well, that's kind of weird. Okay, so I guess these are the rears because they're going to be thicker tires. And then these are the fronts. Um... These look like the little trumpet horns for the exhaust. They, uh, they got crushed over a little bit, but they're okay. No damage. Yeah, here's the air scoop. Top and bottom piece. Here is a monkey's license plate. Didn't even know that was in there. Nice gauge package. Looks like uh, this is the front of the air cleaner, the scoop. Gauges and gauges. I don't know what this is. Maybe a headrest? But you'd think there'd be four of them. Huh. Alright, there's the intake manifold here. Bottom of the engine. Uh, the oil pan and oil uh, filter. And it looks like the starter. Here's some chrome valve covers. Nice console. The front end. The, uh, what do you call them, uh, the grill and the headlights. I don't think this is a bumper. I think this is part of the tree. If I can find a picture online, I'll post a picture of the actual vehicle. I, I didn't think to have that yet, but I'll do that in editing. Here's a blower, front and rear end of that. And rear view mirror. Alrighty, not too bad. No chrome bumpers though. I don't remember if this had uh, bumpers on it or not. Well, like I said, once I post a picture of it uh, in the video, you'll be able to see what it's supposed to look like when it's built. And now, for the first time since 1989, these parts are going to be touched by human hands. <laughs> Alright, here we have the... Wow! The elongated body, that's for sure, right? Eh? Can you see that okay? That's huge. Oh, I never realized how big the uh, front wheel wells were cut out. It says GTO right there. I don't know if you can see that. Plastic feels really nice, though. Wow. Wow, you can see. I don't know what scale this is. This is pretty big. It looks like it's 124 scale, but uh, let me see if it says it in the instructions. To me, it feels like it's a 124 scale. Let me look here real quick, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, it doesn't say it in the instructions. It's AMT, so most likely it's 125 scale. But the body itself feels kind of huge to me. It almost feels like it's one or appears to be like a 124 scale. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to say. I know there's not a whole lot of difference, but next to each other there really is, you know. Molded in hood, or where a hood would normally be. Front end is kind of cool, very uh, Batmobile-ish. Kind of 
kind of neat. And when I uh, when I look up the uh, the picture of the actual car, I'll, I'll figure out who designed it too. It uh, reminds me of like a George Barris uh, build, but I don't I don't think he is the one that designed it. He may may have been. I just I don't recall at the top of my head. But I'll let you know later on in the video. This here says 1989 Columbia Pictures Industry on the back. Obviously everything's molded in red. This is the giant uh, interior. Just uh, has a uh, fuel pedal down there. Molded in. Slides in there pretty good. Fits nice. Got a nice fit to it. The body feels real good. It's nice quality plastic. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Oh, look at there. There's the... Uh, well, that's cool. That's almost like a keychain uh, little deal. That's pretty neat. And this is uh, Ertl, made in the USA. Okay, Dyer, or, uh, was it Dyersville? Yeah, Dyersville, uh, Iowa. That, yeah. Okay, we'll put that there. This appears to be, oh, this is attached. I thought it was loose. Here's the rest of the front end. This would be the uh, the bottom part that comes up, part of the bumper for the rear, some exhaust manifolds. I uh, don't know what these are. Here's a parachute. Only one of them, but they call it a pair of chutes. Yeah, yeah. Here's uh, three seats. Here's the fourth one here. It fell off already. I'll just toss that over there. The exhaust and the rear end and uh, drive shaft. Like I said, it's a very basic kit. This is part of the uh, the cover, the roof, the canvas, or whatever you want to call it. Um, you can see it there in the picture. And th this piece here is, is this little section in the back here. That's that. And then another part of the rear end. And we'll just drop that wherever. Here are the two halves of the engine. And the heads looks like with the valve covers were chrome here's the uh, timing chain cover that's all on that one steering wheel which appears to be 125 scale and then the, uh, the lower chassis oh here's also another piece of the glass oh no this fell out of the bag with the instructions I'm sorry I'll get it together here in a second that goes back in there we've already seen that all right, here's the chassis. Uh, decent thickness, but a little bit thinner than the body. Like, uh, almost like two different companies made it. Uh, not a whole lot of detail going on. The uh, the rear frame actually doesn't have any cross members back here. That would be pretty unstable. But I'm not judging. I'm just pointing things out. The uh, very shallow uh, transmission hump there. Or drive shaft hump, whatever we used to call those. The plastic itself feels different, too, than uh, regular uh, styrene plastic. I, I'm sure that's what it is, but it just feels really different to me. I don't know. Oh, and here's the dashboard. And those chrome gauges will most likely glue in from the back end and then the bottom holes for the steering wheel. So that's kind of cool. And then last but not least is the roof. Uh, it's plastic, but it's supposed to... Uh, um, imitate uh, canvas. Well, I'm having trouble with words again today, guys. Sorry. I'm out of practice. So, that's it. That's the uh, Ertl Blue Printer Monkey Mobile. I want to thank you all for uh, coming along and, and checking out the video. Please stick around to the end there. And Like I said, I'll post a couple of pictures of the Monkey Mobile and uh, who uh, the designer was in that because I, I can't remember off the top of my head. So thank you everyone for stopping by. Hope you have yourselves a great day. I will see you on the next one. Model Car Guy Rich out. Keep on modeling.